Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah Chatella McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's project is this one. It's this super cute, fun fold birthday card that's really easy to make. So easy, you could make a thousand of these, they're so easy. So I'm using the Celebrate Everything designer series paper. This is a host paper so you can get this by spending $150 or more on an order or hosting a party and getting $150 in orders. I have a lot of scraps here, but this is just some of the patterns in the Celebrate Everything designer series paper. It is gorgeous. And here's the other side. Lots of fun patterns, fun things in this paper. So we're going to be using it today to make this, it's a wintry kind of almost Valentine's Day like, but I like this. It reminded me of winter um, birthday card. Like I said, super easy to make. Let me get my paper back in here and we will get started. So the first thing we're going to do is a little bit of stamping and die cutting. I just have my sheet there that I don't need right now but I'm using the one happy family stamp set and we're going to be using the happy birthday this is a great stamp set especially if you're just starting out because there are so many different sentiments so I have my happy birthday right here we're going to be stamping in polished pink and this is a really quick card that doesn't require a lot of stamping so I'm just inking this up I'm very lightly tapping I'm going to line it up with my grid paper even though it doesn't really matter because we are going to be oops, die cutting it but that's no good so I'm going to flip this over we're going to try that again much better okay so now we're going to use the stylish shapes um dies to cut this out now if you're not into die cutting yet you definitely could just measure your stamp and cut a piece of basic white just about a little bit bigger than your stamp but these are the stylish shapes dies we're going to be using this die. It's a little banner, but there are some squares in here, some circles, and I'm going to be die cutting that. And we're also using the spruced up outlines dies. And the only reason I'm using these is because it has this cute little gift. And I just love how that comes out. I've already die cut that with an adhesive sheet almost on the whole thing. I missed it a little bit, but I'm going to die cut this out. And then we can assemble our cards. So I'm going to grab my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Now, if you don't have a machine yet and you're looking to get one, I do recommend the standard size just because, only because, not everything fits in this mini machine. So some of, most of the embossing folders do not fit in here. Some of the dies are too large to fit in here, but with the standard one, everything fits. So you never have to worry about, oh, will, I, will this fit in my machine? So I recommend the mini for people who maybe already have the die cut machine, the standard one, and want something that fits on their desk or something that travels well. Um, but if you're just starting out, I really think you should get the standard one because it is just so much easier to not have to think about whether it'll work or not. So there is our label. Let me put this away and then we can put our card together. So here I have all my pieces. This is our base, but it doesn't actually open. So this is, is just a standard piece of Poppy Parade. It measures five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's the same size as a standard card. And then I have a piece of polished pink that's five and an eighth, or five, sorry, five and a quarter by four. And then this piece is five and an, one eighth by three and seven eighths and it all just layers on there now for this piece this is a strip of basic white that is five or five and a half eight and a half by two and a half and scored at four and a quarter and this is going to be our open part but for whatever reason my scoring blade is doing this so i'm going to turn it around because i don't know it's just being weird and then this piece of designer series paper measures two and a quarter by four. So we're just going to go ahead and put all of our layers on. So now to put on this layer, the easiest thing I found to do is to open it up and not to put any adhesive past that score line there. So I'm just going three lines down and then 
I line up the bottom and I'm trying to get it as centered as possible. And then we just push that down and now we have our piece and my corner folded a little bit there. So now we can put on our sentiment and our little present. So I'm gonna peel off the back of this adhesive sheet and because I didn't get an adhesive sheet on the whole thing, I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue. Now if you don't have adhesive sheets, you can use liquid glue on the whole thing, but this is very thin. So I'm gonna be careful not to squeeze out too much glue. I'm just very lightly squeezing and going along that side there where I missed it. And you know what, even getting up on that present a little bit, and now we can just set it down onto our card. And then for our sentiment, I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals because I love Stampin' Dimensionals and that's where we messed up our, our stamp right there, but nobody will ever know. It'll be our secret. So then I'm just putting that kind of towards the middle bottom part of that. And to finish this card, I have these really pretty 2021 to 2023 in color opal rounds and I'm going to be using polish pink. So there's two sizes. I'm taking the big one putting it right on our gift there and then two of the little ones and just kind of scattering them around and that is our card super quick super easy I hope you enjoyed this card if you do place an order um, for any of the things I mentioned here or something else be sure to use this November host code when you use this code in November you get a free pack of basic white envelopes that look like this and fit your cards perfectly and you'll get those in December. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time.